Welcome back to Rachel's Whimsical Arts. And today we are going to paint our rabbits in watercolors. Uh, we've already drawn the rabbits with pencil and outlined the fur lines with ink or markers and Sharpies and things like that. And now we're gonna put our watercolor paints over the top. So I have some brushes here that I'm gonna use. Um, you could use a little brush, you could use a medium brush or a large brush, whichever you want. And I have decided that I'm going to use a wide range of colors. I'm going to color the background and the foreground. But first, I've decided I'm going to do the front, the face first, because I'm really excited about the face. I am going to do a white, or you could leave the nose and the mouth area alone like leave it as the color of the paper that would work too if you don't have white in your palette of watercolors you could just put water there instead of paint i am mixing a little bit of red with my white and you can do this uh with uh, if you don't have pink on your palette you can make your own pink in your palettes. So I am taking a little bit of this red and some white to make my own pink. I wanted to have pink for the nose area next to the water or the white paint that's above the nose. Okay, so I'm gonna be careful not to put this pink on top of the black lines. But your, your lines will show through the paint for the most part, unless you use like a really dark color. So here's what I mean by adding water. You can just add water to the paper like this. See, I've only added water, so it looks invisible on the inside of my ear. I'm gonna do it for both of them. The other thing that you might want to have out with you that'll help is some paper towels to dry your brush. Here's my paper towel if I need to. I can dry my brush on it. Okay, so I'm going to put this pink in the middle. Look at that, in the middle of my ears. It looks really nice. And it's on the wet paper because I already put the water on it. So it's making the paint spread out and blend a little bit, okay? So now that I've gotten my ears done and my nose, look, it's kind of smearing here because there's too much water. So here's what I'm gonna take, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my handy dandy paper towel and just absorb that color and just, I'm dabbing it. I'm not smearing like this because then it could rub the paper and leave little rub marks or pill marks on the paper. I just dabbed it, so I just took the paper towel and went like this and absorbed it and picked it back up. So now we're going to do, um, I'm gonna put a little bit more light pink around the mouth area of the fur. And if I have too much water, look, I can just take some off like that, okay? There we go. So now that I've got that done, I thought about making my rabbit white, but the more I think of it, the more I think I really want this rabbit to look like it is a pale brown yellow. You could leave your rabbit white and then paint the background a different color. We're still gonna paint the background but this is your option. Keep your rabbit white, leave it white like the paper if you want to, or to make it more fun, you could wet the paper and you could add some colors. His rabbits can be in brown colors. Ooh, I like this brown. They can be black, but if I put black on top, top of my black lines, I really wouldn't see much, would I? So I'm not going to put black on my rabbit, but I could put a dark brown and a light brown. How do you make light brown? I bet you know. 
you can add white to it to make it lighter or you could add yellow to my brown. So here's the brown that I chose and this is probably close to the brown that you might have in your Crayola palette, okay? Now, if I wanna make it lighter, all I have to do is put some of this brown over here with this yellow and it'll make it lighter, okay? I could also add orange to it, but I don't know if that would make it much lighter. The yellow definitely makes it lighter. Okay, so after I do that, now the other way that you could do this, and some of you might know this trick, you can spread the color around with more water. It will make your color thinner. It will make it brighter. It will make it faded because it shows more of the white paper through the color, right? Now, I don't want to add too much, but I am going to put some. So here's, I'm putting some white on here too. I like this brown bunny. I think he'll look really pretty with brown fur. Now I am careful to go around his nose in a circle and I go slow with my brush so that his nose can stay white. Okay. Yeah. And I love the brown color for this bunny. It makes me think of a story. You might know the story about a brown rabbit. Peter Rabbit. That's what I was thinking of. Peter Rabbit. Peter Rabbit, Cottontail. Okay, so I'm also being careful not to put too much brown around his eyes because I think I'm gonna want his eyes to look a little lighter. All right, so I'm almost done with my brown on the face. Next, I should probably do his ears or her ears, his or her. I haven't decided if this is gonna be a boy or a girl rabbit. Maybe they're a they rabbit. Okay. All right, so I got his face. And did you see how I have blue tape on the corners of my paper? I did that on purpose because I didn't want the paper to move on me when I'm painting. And see how it's kind of bubbling right here, like a little wave? That sometimes that happens when you have a lot of water on your paper. So I'm just gonna let this paper dry when I'm all done. I'm not gonna move it. I'm just gonna let it dry right here on my table for like the next hour or two. I'm just leave it alone. And you know, your parents can check on it for you. And when it's dry, they can move it. And when it's completely dry, you can take it and put it underneath books, stack of books underneath it to make it flat again, okay? So here's my ear number two. I'm careful with my brush to go up to the point and then make another line from the left side all the way up to the point and then I can go back down. So I wanna leave the center of my ear alone so it'll have some pink in it, okay? See that I made a little accidental droplets of paint, so I'm gonna dab that, that's okay. So the body is the only thing left. I'm gonna leave the center alone and put I'm gonna put just white in the center. Or you could just leave it with water and um, you could just not paint in the middle and not put any water or any color in the middle and then it would uh, stay white if you want a white belly or chest of your rabbit. 
Now, this would look good if you had, maybe instead of black, you could try a light gray, or you could put yellow or orange. Hmm, that might be pretty. All right, now I am gonna do one more thing, and I don't know if you can guess what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna put pink somewhere. I'm gonna put it around. But I don't want it too much, just a little bit of pink around the tops of his eyes. Like that. Just the tops of his eyes to give him a brighter, brighter face. Okay. Now, after I've done my chest tummy area, now I'm gonna put more brown. on his shoulders or their shoulders whoever they are this rabbit's shoulders i'm careful in painting in a downward fashion from top to bottom so that i get color all the way down okay so now Here is the right side of their shoulder. Okay. Guess what we're gonna paint next? We are gonna paint the background. There we go. Okay, so here is the rabbit with the brown colors. The only thing left I think that I might wanna do is wipe up, and that is I'm just gonna absorb and some of this extra paint that's by his eyes and take off that extra paint. And I think I'm gonna take a yellow, yellow-brown and put it under their eyes. You don't have to do this. What if you want to do pink? You could do any color you wanted, okay? So if you want the, there to be more pink around the eyes, go for pink. All right, so now we're going to do the background. Okay, so I'm, if you want to absorb any paint, like you see there's too much water in some area, take your paper towel and just soak it up. All right, so now we're going to do the large, look, where's, oh, I'm going to use my large paintbrush, and I am going to paint the outside areas of the rabbit. Now, if it's too wet, I'm going to be careful not to put color. Let me show you what the color, I'm going to use blue. I'm going to be careful not to put color right next to the brown paint. Do you see how I'm just going on the edges? The other way you could do it is you could wait, let the rabbit dry completely, and then you could paint the background so that your blue or whatever color you have, maybe a purple, doesn't get mixed in too much with the fur color that you've chosen for your rabbit. Okay, so there's two ways you could do it. You could do what I suggested. You could um, wait for it to dry paint the background or you could be careful like I am and go very slow and make a little white border in between the background and my rabbit okay all right I think blue looks really good with brown so that's why I wanted to use blue There's another thing that you could do in the background if you wanted to, but we can talk about that next time. And that, um, I'll just mention it in case if you thought of it already. You could add salt onto your wet paint. Might be really neat. When you add salt to the wet watercolor paint, it leaves little polka dots that look kind of like stars. 
once it dries. You have to leave it alone and let it dry, and then it does that effect. But I'm not going to do that this time. I'm just going to keep painting my rabbit a blue background. I might add some splashes of purple because I'm a big purple fan. Yeah, it's going to look really nice though. I can't wait to see what yours turns out. Everybody's got their own vision of what their rabbit and piece of art will look like. We are all artists in this together, creating and having fun, making our rabbits or whatever we're making. If you're making a sky, who knows? Maybe you've got this idea, you're like, oh, my rabbit is gonna have a carrot next to him. You could draw and paint a carrot there. Or a flower. But I have another idea later I'm gonna show you with flowers. It's pretty cool, so. For now, let's see what this will look like with purple. That's what I'm gonna add next. So a little more blue, a little more blue, right on the outside of his face. And now let's do purple. All right, I'm gonna use a big brush Oh, I didn't make purple. Well, I have a darker blue. Okay, I will just use the darker blue. <gasps> Uh-oh, I made a mess. It's okay, don't worry. I'm just gonna dab it. There we go. So I don't have purple. You probably have purple on your palette, so you could use purple. But I'm gonna use this pretty blue. It's a marine blue. Ultramarine is what it's called. I love this kind of blue. It makes me think of the ocean or a sky. So I'm going to have this because I love the idea of having two kinds of colors in the background. Do you see how I'm making the blue dark at the top and light at the bottom? My tape is in the way, so I'm going to move my tape out of the way. That's what I'm doing right now. Okay. All right, so here's my dark blue with my light blue. And I'm gonna careful around the ears so I don't get blue and brown to mix. Here's the blue, oh, it's gonna look nice. Yes. I'm gonna go around the ear. Around the ear, not touch the ear. I'm telling myself so I don't forget. Oop, okay, I almost got that. And now the head area. So I'm gonna go from the middle and go up, straight up, straight up. Let's see if I can get a tiny bit closer. Yeah. And then I'm gonna move my brush to the right as an arc and to the left, and then this rabbit is gonna look so good, but it's really wet, which means I'm gonna have to let it dry before I can do my next step, which will be on another video for you to see. So we have painted our rabbits, it's gonna dry, and the next video I'll show you what you can do to add accessories to your rabbit to make it look even more fun because it'll have a different dimension with extra accessories or things to put on or around the rabbit. Okay, but that'll be on another piece of paper and in another video. So hold on to your seats and you can pause and open up the next video. Okay, thank you kids of art. You are all great artists and I look forward to seeing what you create. Have a wonderful day. Talk to you again. Bye.